Hello people, and welcome back to part 9 of our City Skylines build guide. And you may remember a couple of episodes ago, I said that this interchange here over by the forest industry cannot handle that large amounts of traffic, and here we are. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to dive into a time lapse and rebuild this thing into a roundabout interchange. Uh, it's going to be an elevated roundabout, so it's going to look pretty sweet when it's done. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll do it right now. Okay, so there we have it guys, that is a, a nice little oval interchange, and um, that gave me again <laughs> a lot more trouble. These things are a pain in the ass to build if you aren't playing with that move it, so I don't recommend this type of interchange, and um, we'll probably change this again in the future, but for right now, just so things keep flowing, um, it is just a lot smoother than having people stop at the lights on the bridge. You can see now as time is passing, everyone just continues to flow, there's no lights. Uh, and it did take a little while for the traffic to clear uh, from that little bridge interchange, but it has cleared up now. It's working nicely, but you can see you now when we have these little bits here, like this, you know, when we're playing without move it, um, these things can look really ugly, but uh, it's working for right now. So we'll leave it at that uh, and we'll carry on uh, with our little town over here. And I wanted to try today to power on. Uh, towards the big city milestone because that is going to give us another square and I'll tell you what we're going to do and um, we're going to open up these two tiles along here and start planning our downtown in the next couple of episodes along these shores over here so it's definitely something I want to get on with uh, but I noticed as I loaded up the game that we do have a little bit of um, school demand we have we're nearly out of elementary and we definitely need another high school in the city as well uh, especially for all these people over here. Uh, off camera, I've also added in uh, the helicopter fire depot, which is going to help take care of any forest fires uh, that pop up in and around the city. So let's go ahead and carry on uh, mapping out um, our kind of new town. So I mentioned last episode as well that this at the minute it looks very box-like. You know, it's not... Um, it looks very rigid. It's obviously just plopped into the middle of nowhere. So I want to try to fix that today by going ahead and grabbing a couple of curved roads using our freeform tool and then we're going to turn snapping off as well. So let's go ahead now and again I always recommend if you're going to do freeform roads uh, do them from the air because uh, they always look better and a lot more natural when they're kind of done from a great height. So let's just go ahead and kind of hook some of these roads up with one another and then this can probably continue all the way around the back of the town we'll have one coming out here as well and then up to there and this can follow through here we have a big uh, circle coming back here Linking up to there. Yeah, okay. Well, let's work on this side as well. Let's bring a couple of roads out here. Uh, so whilst I'm doing this, I just wanted to talk about something real quick. Uh, we had a couple of comments over the weekend on the how to start your city tutorial. Um, which is totally fine. So if those people are still watching, uh, thank you very much for your comments. It always helps me learn and grow. Um... 
And they were totally right in the fact that I'd assumed people had played City Skylines before, uh, before I even started um, to kind of explain how to do different things. So there's this little section in that video, if you haven't watched it, um, where we make a little elevated bridge, and I didn't explain um, how you actually elevate your roads in City Skylines, and that's just going to help me improve uh, to try and help you guys actually make better cities and to actually let me curve this road um, to improve the tutorials now the tutorials aren't super often on this channel um, although this let's play is taking the form of kind of a tutorial let's play anyway so I just wanted to say thanks for the comments and we'll definitely um, take your feedback into consideration and I'll make sure for the next tutorial um, that we are being uh, as explanatory as possible when I make the tutorials so that road isn't the straightest thing in the world, let's get a bit more of a curve on there okay so we've got some little residential areas developing out here um, let's go ahead and bring a couple of cul-de-sacs into the pattern now uh, I'm thinking I want a little bit of maybe a park land in here as well so let's go ahead and factor that in uh, I'll have some roads down here up here maybe one down here as well there we go so what we're doing right now is we're just planning out a large residential expansion now remember if you have been watching this series from the start filling out your residential all in one go isn't something you want to do because it's going to cause enormous death waves uh, in your city and it's going to put huge strain on your cemeteries and uh, crematoriums so you want to kind of expand as slow as possible and I'm just going ahead now and draw in a couple of little paths just to hook people up um, across different streets and different parts of this new residential area you want to kind of think where would it take them the longest to walk so I'm going to go ahead now and drop in a park area in this little semicircle that we've got going on. Right about here. There we go. Hi gardens. Any Game of Thrones fans in the room? Okay. So I'm going to kind of focus everything around this park. So let's come in and drop in the Institute of Creative Arts. Uh, let's see if we can find a nice place for this thing. I think probably around there. And then we'll go ahead and drop in uh, maybe a cycle path. That brings people into the main town. Uh, and we'll also have a little bit of uh, and a, a main path alongside it as well. And then we can make a little bit of a tree feature out of there, perhaps. Uh, let's go ahead and map in our water. There's a little bit here that hasn't filled in. There we go. Okay, so for the immediate vicinity, that should do quite nicely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have this as commercial. You see we've got these nice chunky blocks that have formed because we, we haven't made the curve in the road uh, too steep. So this is going to form a nice little high street along here. And I think I'm going to have that as commercial as well. And then let's go ahead and actually drop in some of these park assets to help these people out. Again, I'm just going to use the small park main gate. I will have it right on the street corner here. Suggestions down in the comments to name this park. Uh, I need to push the park area out just a touch. So these kind of really grandiose larger parks can really help to flesh out and level up your residential areas. So what I'm doing right now is just placing in a couple of side gates. Um, so people have access uh, from all different sides and then I'm going to go ahead and hook these up uh, just using dirt paths I don't want to use the city parks for this 
Uh, this is a nice little uh, rural park, so I don't want the kind of the concrete paths. It's going to have a nice curved road there, and we'll create a bit of a little triangle interchange there. Let's kind of create the main path. And then again, similar stuff over here. And then we'll have a nice looping path that kind of hooks up. So mapping out your road area, your uh, path areas, it uh, will be really useful. And I'm going to come ahead and drop in uh, some nice big rock features here. I think even bigger than that we can afford. Let's have a look. Don't think. Uh, and our college has leveled up. Wonderful. It's not quite ready to have a few more buildings popped into it yet, but not far away. So I think maybe the cliff would fit in nicely here. Is that a little too big? Yeah, it is. That looks ridiculous. Let's find something else. I think maybe a couple of these little grey ones, if we amalgamate them together and make a smaller rock feature out of them. They should look okay. There we go. So I want to get our landscaping tools now and bring our brush size up. And uh, You can actually delete trees with the brush tree as well uh, just by holding right click instead of left uh, and you'll clear any trees out regardless of whether or not you place them. Uh, they will actually clear out. So that's going to give us a nice open area to work with. Now, let's go ahead and satisfy a little bit of this residential demand right now. Let's have these guys up here and here as well. I just want residential surrounding this park all the way. I can actually just go ahead and fill these in. These are all nice chunky blocks. We don't need to worry about odd shaped housing managing to form in these. Is that going to sync up with power? Here it is. That's going to see everyone else grow. And it's going to hook the park gates up with power as well. Uh, okay, so now we have our basic outline of the park, and I'm just going to come ahead now and click on one of the side gates and draw it all the way down and hook it up to here. So you can just get a nice curve by coming out straight with your freeform tool and then just bringing it round as tight into the road. As you can get it. There we go. These straight sections, it doesn't matter too much. Let's have that in there. And we just got a little bit of a short distance to cover up in there. Super. So, of course, these idiots have decided to build out here. And then we should see these houses eventually connect up with it, and everyone should be happy. We just need one person to come in here. Come on, you can do it. I'm sure they will while we build anyway. <laughs> oh no, it's going to annoy me. I need to hook it up. Okay, there. We'll do it in a minute. <laughs> right, okay. So we've got this nice open space to work with here now. So let's kind of plan out a couple of features. Um, I think I definitely want the park plaza in here, so let's go ahead and draw that in. I'm going to switch to our regular old tarmac path for this. I'm going to put this in way back here. I'm going to have that as about in the middle as you can judge it. Of course, if you are playing with snapping on, uh, with prop snapping, you'll be able to uh, place these things a little easier, but for right now it's more than okay. So I'm just going to pop couple of little trees around here. don't want them in this little window here. I'm going to keep that free. For a couple of hedges, I think. Uh, actually, let's have a nice little... Can I paint flower beds with the brush tool? I can. That's so strange. I didn't think we'd be able to, but apparently you can. So just along here, I'm just going to come ahead and place... Nice little flower bed line that follows the front of this plaza. There we go. 
and then up to the corner as well. There we go. So the flower beds are quite an underrated decoration in my opinion. You can actually do some really nice things with them. And let's go ahead and drop some in there. So we've got a little flower bed frontage right now. And then I think I'm going to actually border these uh, with some hedges. Again, just kind of making a focal point for your park uh, with little decorations like this uh, will really help just place emphasis on that particular place and the fact that it is something to pay attention to, something that uh, people would go to you when know, they're free time. They would uh, come and check out the new city park. And then that's placing a couple of trees that you wouldn't otherwise see around here. Um, so it's all very green right now, so maybe we can pop in um, a little coloured meadow mixing and matching some of these trees. Some of the tree assets on the workshop are actually really good. The vanilla trees don't look that great, um, but you can get some really nice looking stuff uh, on the workshop. So just by making a little floral garden like that, we've already added a lot more emphasis uh, to this point. So let's carry on kind of fleshing out that idea. Um, of making this the center of the park. Maybe with a cafe, that definitely would work. Yeah, we'll have a cafe up here. Uh, and I think I want that flanked by uh, some smaller bushes. Just along the side and the back of it. Just a nice little green border to help highlight it. Of course, we do need uh, water for our park assets, so let's just bring a quick line down. Okay, let's see what else we've got to play with. So don't remember, or uh, well, don't forget rather, um, please do remember. <laughs> um, because we have worked with a city park before, uh, a lot of this stuff is now unlocked to use in our other parks, so that's going to be really handy. So we've got a nice big strip of residential. I don't want any one block buildings forming. Uh, and then we can have a nice little high street that's going to develop uh, right along our park. So I think I'm going to carry on the theme of cycle lanes within this village or little town. So we'll have uh, a cycle lane right down here. And then I think... Yes, there was. There was one here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. Uh, let's have this come right through here. And then we can just unzone uh, this stuff. And then we'll upgrade that back to normal road, actually. There. So that cycle highway is going to allow people to continue flowing uh, through this area on bike and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and apply our preferred cycling uh, tool to this zone so it's kind of zone out where the rest of this little town is going to flow let's bring it up to here as well so don't forget to keep making your districts as you go it's really going to help identify your town later on We've got Oriental Heights again suggestions down in the comments to name this no, we won't keep it as that um, so I'm going to go ahead let's have a look what we can apply um, I think this is going to increase the land value around parks and plazas. We'll definitely do that. It's going to increase park budget by 20%. Um, but there is only a few small parks in here anyway. So it's not massively expensive. Uh, let's go for an education boost. Um, we're going to have this town looking really nice. It's going to be well educated. Uh, it's going to have good access to services. Um, free public transport is a little bit too pricey. We do need to hook the transport lines up to this place as well. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, and then city planning, encourage biking. Uh, high tech homing is going to turn homes into much cooler smart homes to raise the land value around them. However, we do uh, lose $4. Um, oh no, sorry, we uh, each residential building goes up by $4 um, in their upkeep cost. So it is going to eat into your budget a little bit, but I think I'm going to save this for my city area. I don't really want that in here. Okay, that should do for right now. 
So we applied the parks and plazas, education boost, and prefer cycling for this area. So this area is going to have quite a green feel, uh, I imagine. Let's go ahead now and carry on mapping out some of our residential zones. Let's keep that demand flowing. Uh, park restrooms. I think a park info booth might be quite a nice little addition for this corner. And then again, where I have this little kind of awkward space, I'm just going to go ahead and um, pop in a little rose bush hedge corner. So filling out an area of this size will take you a long time just because of the sheer amount of detail that goes into it. But just kind of looking at this particular focal point that we've just built on, you can really see how putting this much time and effort into one single park can just really help make a nice focal point for how your parks look. Um, and they can really help just bring them to life that little bit extra. I think it looks really nice. Um, Obviously you can improve this with different tree assets and prop snapping from the workshop um, and I think there's some mods on console as well, I'm not too sure. Uh, but you know, you can make this thing look really nice in the end. But uh, this serves as a little bit of inspiration as to what you can actually do with the park life stuff. Okay, so now that we have that done, we need to hook some people up with some public transport. It's something we haven't looked at for a while. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and grab some buses uh, and our bus line. And let's go ahead and hook them up to some kind of major towns here. So I think because these are relatively small, especially this side of town, I'm just going to have one bus line here that's going to start on this high street. It's going to stop outside the ferry port. And then again outside the elementary school. Stop out here. It's not going to stop in this section. Um, I don't want it to link up to the university and then it's going to come right over the highway and then it's going to stop I think probably outside the tax office would be a nice place and then it's going to make a little loop up the high street down here as well down in front of the park and it can drop people off and then again, this is kind of a long haul bus. I don't want this to have too many stops on it. And that's going to come back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and name this now. Um, so this is from Umber Square to Oriental Heights. Um, so let's go ahead and... Am I spelling that right? Uh, yeah, I am. That looks weird for some reason. Uh, Oriental Heights, which I could capitalize to. I've already forgotten what it was called. Uh, Umber Square. And we'll make this bus a um, nice turquoise color. And then we'll see this now uh, when the bus does arrive from the depot. We're going to start seeing people being able to uh, visit this town by a bus rather than having to take the car. We have a little bit of traffic build up here, don't we? We do indeed. I think we can actually help that situation by just upgrading this road a little because they're all stuck coming out of that one lane. And uh, we need to do a little bit of it. I actually wanted to fix this, didn't I? Um, let's go ahead and pause the game here for a moment. I'm just going to go ahead and fix this up. There. So, having the entry and exit point here for people leaving the highway, or getting onto the highway rather, um, will stop them from coming back down here and turning on themselves. Um, but otherwise it will just work pretty fine. See, we also probably need to do the same here as well. Um, I also want to upgrade this to uh, that one. That should be okay. But uh, traffic around this interchange is flowing okay right now. It's, uh, it's working. Okay. 
So we've got a public transport here now. The buses should be arriving fairly soon. You can already see the amount of people uh, that are hanging around here. I'm going to go ahead and pop in uh, some trees along here. There we go. You can already see the amount of people using bikes to get around this part of town already. Again, we've got a cute little high street developing right in front of the park. These kind of awkward spaces that develop between your strange shaped zoning, you can just fill in with trees. Uh, that's going to really help. We've got some nice space with some bushes in between as well. And I think I'm going to have a little uh, miniature forest surrounding the cemetery here. Just so it does kind of isolate it. Away from the taxi, it's on its own road. And uh, maybe we could have a touch of commercial along there just to give this street a little bit of purpose. I think that might look quite nice. We'll see. It's all about when you're kind of developing new towns, it's all about just kind of placing stuff and seeing how it looks. And already, amongst the signs and all the greenery, this place is starting to just kind of foster a little bit of personality about it as pretentious and as shitty as that sounds um, it does actually begin to make your park look a little more cooler and um, so I think a bit of park restrooms right along here as well would be a good shout and then let's mimic um, that kind of I don't know what you would call this I suppose it's um Actually, you know what? Let's use some of the other ones. I don't really use these that much. Let's go ahead and uh, drop this one in. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's what we have to work with. Um. And then maybe a large bush. No, that sticks over the side too much, doesn't it? Um, how about this one? Yeah, that works. Cool. It's actually deleted that back one, but we can just uh, go ahead and place that in again. Again. So, as I was saying, you know, you just need to kind of really play with these areas. Obviously, right now you've got a lot of empty road space, but as you uh, gain the demand, this, these things will uh, they will improve and they will fill up. I think now I do want a couple of these fields to be uh, treed up, so I think we're going to have this one right opposite the houses as trees. I'm kind of creating a focal point here, I feel, so we can probably have a couple of trees here as well, uh, and then here too. So as we unlock more park stuff, uh, this will uh, flesh out with more buildings around this area. And then there's one more thing I want to do with this before we move on. And that is grab some park street lights. Uh, and just kind of place them uh, at the intersections and then frequently around it. So let's go ahead and actually pop uh, the day night cycle back on. And then we can kind of see just what effect uh, these little street lamps have on the park itself. It's going to look really cool. So some of the street, some of the uh, the park paths will come with lamps, uh, but these general kind of vanilla dirt paths do not. So if you want them to be lit up, if you are playing with day night cycle turned on, uh, then it's probably best to light them up yourself. I'm just going for a little alternating pattern either side of it. Uh, you can do whatever you really fancy. So right now, straight from above, you know, this is going to be a really nice looking area. I'm really looking forward to uh, developing the rest of that, actually. It should be quite fun. And we've got a nice little busy hub beginning to materialise around here as well. So that's really cool. So I wanted to finish up today's episode by beginning to plan for our next project, which is going to be our kind of exclusively rich lakeside tourist resort so I think I'm gonna have uh, some keys along this place right here 
Well, I never actually use these things. Maybe we can have this as an entrance to the park. We can actually bend them as well. Maybe this can like serve as like an entrance into what's going to be a really rich and exclusive area. Kind of that generic American comedy, you know, or like, it's like, let's go to the lake for the summer. It's like, well, let's, why the hell not? So I'm going to go ahead and actually key up one side of the lake. Uh, probably this side here, I imagine. Again, just by using the freeform tool, uh, you can get some really nice looking curves. And it does pretty much just actually snap into the uh, the lake shore itself. So I only want one side of it to be keyed up. And the remainder of it will just remain forest overlooking the highway. Uh, and we've obviously got a really nice natural feature here. So I want to keep this definitely. Uh, now we did have a comment uh, from... Uh, somebody last episode. Have I just deleted a wall? I did. Um, who? Actually, I tell you what, I can't actually remember your name, brother. I'm going to go find out right now. Bear with me one moment. Okay, I think I I, <laughs> I apologise because I am about to get your name wrong, my friend. But is it Jasif Mac Macayeti? Is that how you pronounce your name? I'm sorry if that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that is right. Um, I apologise if it isn't. Uh, please let me know how you pronounce that in the comments. That is uh, one of the more difficult names I've had to pronounce for my subscribers. But thanks very much for your comment. Anyway, um, Jasif uh, suggested that we actually have uh, a bit of a zoo uh, around the lake, which I think is a really neat idea. So I think I'm going to have it um, probably over this side. We'll have it up to there. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete this road and place in a roundabout. Um, let's go for a small one. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of terraforming here, actually. Uh, I do just want to smoothen this out so we don't get some horrendous uh, bumps with our... There we go. With our roundabout, that should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then I want this to be a double lane road. So again, you know, this place is a nice introduction into the area. There's lots of trees and nice roundabouts and uh, green sidewalks. It's going to be very fancy. Uh, and then we'll do something nice with this area too. Uh, we can definitely get a few unique buildings in here. Uh, but first of all, let's go ahead and actually map out where we want to put the zoo. So I'm going to have the road come right up alongside this rock. I do want this to be a real kind of feature of this area. And this little naturally generated thing that we've got in here. There, that connects up nicely. And then let's go ahead and pull in these bits. And then I think I'm going to have this road. We're actually going to go freeform here a little bit. Let's come down straight to about there. We'll just delete that wall, not too bothered about keeping that bit in. And then just a road. That's going to follow the uh, the key. So we've got a nice little promenade that's starting to form. 
Now let's go ahead and upgrade these into the nice green bank roads. And then I think this bit here uh, probably makes sense to actually hook up to here. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a little bit of a disjointed episode, and we've got a couple of little random projects started. Uh, this area I'm starting to really like. Um, you know, don't forget, when you do start a new area, it will look a little bit barren. You have to fill it out first. You have to give it personality. Uh, and I feel like we're starting to do that now with this little town. It's certainly got a much different feel uh, than the island has. If you did enjoy the video, a like below is always appreciated. You guys have been smashing them recently, and equally as much if you hated it, the video, and don't find this useful, a dislike is also welcome as well. Uh, but enjoy uh, the rest of this uh, little kind of flyby of the video. I hope you're enjoying the new editing as well. They're a lot more edited than friend, whatever it was. Um, but I'll leave it there anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.